Family, friends, loved ones, welcome and on behalf of this couple, thank you for making the trip here. Um, to see this, this loving couple start their journey together. you guys met on tinder but how did you and jamie actually meet oh long story um i was deer hunting at my father's house i was on tinder i found her obviously swiped right she obviously swiped right on me um it was like one in a million chance we worked it out we both had our settings for 20 minutes or 20 miles she was like 19.6 from my father's house so if I hadn't been deer hunting and she hadn't been at work, never would have met each other. One million shot. So it was your first date like that? When did you finally? Interesting. <laughs> uh, sushi. She hated it. I got a spicy tuna roll, almost killed her. It was hilarious. Um, super awkward drop off. She basically rolled out of the car while I was moving. And I thought to myself, I will never see her again. I think I texted Bill. I was like, well, there it goes. That was night down the drain. And she texted me on the ride home. Hey, let's do it again. I was like, okay, all right, fine. I can make that work. Yeah. So. <laughs> Jamie, these last five and a half years have been the greatest adventure of my life. I've been waiting for this day for so long. I can't remember the first time I thought I loved you. And it wasn't love at first sight. <laughs> it was never this huge revelation for me. It was more of a feeling of comfort and warmth, like coming home after a long trip. Yeah. I knew it was you. It was always you, and it's always going to be you. Love that you're always planning our next, next adventure, and you bring me places like this. I love the way you always have big ideas and huge dreams for us. I love that you always have something, and we always have something to talk about. Sometimes we don't have to say anything at all. And I love that you have always loved and supported me. So here are my promises for you for the rest of our lives. I promise to always be your travel companion. I promise to never go to bed mad and to always kiss you before I leave. I promise to never weigh down your dreams as long as you always take me with you. I promise you will, I will always give you my everything. You will always have all of me. As I think of how to start my vows, I think of everything I've ever written and how the beginning is always where I struggle. Which made me think about our beginning. Okay. 
I think about the uh, end of our first date <clears throat> when you pulled up to my house, you put your car in park in the middle of my driveway <laughs> and not wanting to kiss you over your um, center console, I told you I had a great time and with no kiss got out of your car. And of course, your story may be a little different than mine. You told me a long time ago at the end of our first date that Bill texted you and asked how it went. And you replied with, I will never hear from her again. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are five and a half years later. There are an infinite number of things that I love about you. <clears throat> I love that I never have to ask Google questions because you always think you have the answers. <laughs> I love that you wait almost every time when I'm done telling a story for you to say, you've told me that before. <laughs> I love that when I wanted a backpack for three and a half months, you were buying me things that I've never heard of to make my life easier and my travel safe. I love that when I'm having a really bad day or I'm upset about something, <laughs> you hold me in your arms and you hug me and let me and just hold on to me while I cry. And I love that you've never tried to change anything about me. I love that you embrace my loud, weird, optimistic, outgoing personality that I have. <clears throat> I can't tell you how excited I am to be standing here in front of our friends and family expressing the love that I have for you. We joke all the time about how we can never break up because dating is stupid. It's true. But with you, dating was easy. Of course, we will always have disagreements here and there. But we know I know that we will always work through them and always come back to each other. Because you are my lobster. <laughs> And I will always love you. Sweet tears. Remember that for always, forever and always, it is love that drives us, love that binds us, and together it's love that makes us whole. So Jamie, with this being known, do you, of sound body and mind, take Josh as yours forever and always? Always. Josh, with this being known, and being of sound body and mind, take Jamie as your forever and always. Always. By the power vested in me as a Lord of Scotland, I now pronounce you <laughs> forever and always, <laughs> husband and wife, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> to me.